What's up guys? Pictures by Schoolboy back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the best lens for beginners. Now this lens is a very simple and a very small lens and this is what we are going to talk about today. So make sure you drop a like on this video and make sure you stick around to the end. Let's get straight into the video. This is the young new 50mm f1.8 lens. I'm going to give you some couple of reasons why I think this lens is the best lens for beginners. Number one, price. This lens is very affordable. In fact, this lens is very cheap. Now, we have the Canon ones and the Nikon ones and the Sony ones and a whole lot. But this one right here, is the young new one this one is very cheap out of all the brands that you can find out there we have the canon the nikon the young new the whatever the etc they are all expensive and this one is very cheap so in case your budget doesn't meet that of the canon one you can go for this young new one at half of the price of the canon one and that's why I think this lens is very great for beginners because I don't think at the beginning you will have that much money to go for much expensive lenses so I think this one will be that great of a deal for the start the second point is the aperture this lens right here has a wide aperture of f1.8 now what does that mean? what that means is that you get amazing depth of field between the subject and the background this lens gives you amazing bouquet at the background of your image which makes your images look much better as compared to that of the bouquet you get from the kit lens this right here is an amazing lens trust me now the third thing is the simple form factor of this lens this is a very small lens see I can fit this lens in my palm right here now the camera's weight is something you wouldn't want to add more weight to trust me this lens is very small and very compact and also it's very lightweight so when you mount this lens on your camera oh my this lens makes the camera very small and doesn't draw much attention when you are on location sometimes you'll be having this 85 millimeter and all those longer radius lens 200 mm and a whole lot and those lenses draw much attention whenever you are on location but with this lens right here trust me it's amazing now the last thing is the build quality and the chromatic abrasion this has a very cheap build quality in fact i've never seen a lens with a very cheap your quality at this one but if you take good care of this lens it's going to last for a very long time it's going to last till you get money to purchase a different lens or something like that so this is a very nice lens for beginners as I said earlier and I know that's the reason why you clicked on this video this is a very nice lens and a chromatic abrasion aspect you this chromatic abrasion thing always worries me a whole lot. Anytime I take pictures, oh, I'll be like, oh, this picture is amazing. I've taken amazing pictures. But anytime I get home and start to edit them, I find out that there are a lot of chromatic abrasion in the picture. This lens produces a whole lot of chromatic abrasion. But I don't find that big of a deal because you would have to zoom in a lot to notice a chromatic abrasion and no person will just look at the normal picture and be zooming in that a lot so it's not something that big of a deal but it is for me since I'm a photographer but it wouldn't be a big of a deal for my client because they are not they won't even notice there's something there called, called chromatic abrasion so that's one downside of this lens and also the view quality but if you have 
money or your budget is a little bit higher you can go for the canon one i think that one has metal mount instead of a plastic mount like this one but overall this lens is good for you as a beginner starting photography i watch a lot of videos about this lens people were you know seeing it's good but it wasn't all that but trust me for years now i've been using this lens and it's, it's amazing at the end of this video i'm going to show you a couple of pictures that i've taken with this lens and some amazing depth of field that i managed to get so that will be the end of today's video so make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below on what you think catch you guys in the next one peace